Moving on to the next question, a company has a total debt ratio of 0.56. What is the equity multiplier and debt to equity ratio? Now, if you remember, if you're ever given one of three things in a question, whether it is the debt to equity ratio, the equity multiplier, or the total debt ratio, you always wanna make a mini balance sheet. And in this case, we're given the total debt ratio of 0.56. Now the total debt ratio is what? It's debt over assets. And that's equal to 0.56. And what you wanna do, since that 0.56 is a single value, it's not a fraction, you wanna always put that over one. And then from this information, you can make a mini balance sheet where you have assets, debt, and equity. Well, the assets we know is one, the debt is 0.56, so we know the equity is gonna be one minus 0.56 because the left side and the right side have to balance, and one minus 0.56 gives us 0.44. Okay, so we took that 0.56, put it over one, and then made a mini balance sheet. Now, another thing you can do is you could take this decimal 0.56 and then convert it into a fraction. The simplest fraction I can think of would be 56 over 100. Okay, and then you can have your debt as 56, your assets would be 100, and then your equity would be 44. But either way works, I think it's just easier to uh, keep the values that they give you. And if they give you a single value like this, just put it over one and then make the mini balance sheet as is. And now that we have the mini balance sheet, we can find what the equity multiplier and the debt to equity ratio is. Equity multiplier, we know that's equal to assets over equity. So from the mini balance sheet, that's just gonna be one over the equity of 0.44. And when you do that in your calculator, you end up getting 2.27, that's rounded. So the equity multiplier would be 2.27, and then the debt to equity ratio would be the debt amount, which is 0.56 over the equity of 0.44. And when you input that in your calculator, it would round off to 1.27. So sometimes the answers, if it's a multiple choice test, is going to have these sort of decimals um, as the answers. Sometimes though, if they give you decimals to make it trickier, the answers to these questions may be actual fractions. And then what you have to do is you have to actually use whole numbers like we were talking about before. So instead of putting 0.56 here, you would put this as 56 over 100. Another thing you can do is once you have this uh, mini balance sheet and you have a bunch of um, accounts and decimals, what you can do is you can multiply every account by the same number to get rid of these decimals. So for example, you can multiply everything by 100, and if you do that, one times 100 is just 100. 0.56 times 100 would give us 56, and then 0.44 times 100 gives us 44. Right, and the ratios are still the same, but now notice we're not working with decimals. And then what you can do is you can find these uh, ratios, the equity multiplier and the debt to equity ratios as actual fractions. So assets over equity would be 100 over 44. Okay, and that would reduce to 50 over 22 if you divide both the numerator and the denominator by two. And then 50 over 22 would reduce to 25 over 11. And 25 divided by 11, if you input that in the calculator, you would end up getting that same amount, 2.27. So 25 over 11, 2.27, those are the same thing. So you gotta be careful. Sometimes they'll make the multiple choices a little trickier and they'll give you these answers. And then you have to use whole numbers for the balance sheet. So just be aware of that. Then same thing here, this debt over equity, 
it would be 56 over 44. That reduces to 28 over 22 if we divide both uh, the numerator and the denominator by 2. And then this reduces to 14 over 11 if we divide by 2 again. And then 14 over 11 is the same as this 1.27. So either way, these are the answers to both the equity multiplier and the debt to equity ratio in two different forms, in decimals and in fractions. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.